Hello, I'm Dwayne and welcome to another edition of Learn Arts TV. and we're hoping to do some predator fishing for perch. Paul seems to have caught the first thing today. What you got, Paul? I think it's a mussel, mate. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, we'll have to get this one back. Uh, no need for unhooking that, I don't think. Should be all right. <laughs> we'll, uh, we'll plop it back. Hopefully we might catch something uh, something else. Excellent. First hit of the day. Well done, Paul. <laughs> Thanks, mate. This is my first perch today. The first fish of the day, well, apart from that swan mussel. Um, caught on the MEP spinner. Yeah, it's a lovely fish. It, one pound was it? One pound eight. It went to Chris. Yeah. One pound eight. Yeah, I'm really uh, I'm well chuffed. He's a small one. He's really happy. Yeah, caught on the map. Right, I'm just gonna get him back. Okay. There we go. Today, uh, one pound five. This one. It was quite a funny one because I hooked it and as I was bringing it in um, there was still another perch following it but yeah look at that it's a beautiful fish so we'll get him back and uh, hopefully you might get one or two another one or two but yeah second fish of the day really happy thanks Chris oh nice that's a beautiful fish wow, what a fish. wow look at that that's a lovely fish, mate. Here's my first perch today. Really pleased with this. Moved just uh, about 10, 15 yards upstream with Paul. Nice mate that he is. Allowed me to come in close to him. And looks like we've caught our third perch out the swim, which seems a little unusual. 
when you consider we put them back in the same swim. Well, yeah, did you, didn't you have a pike follow as well? Yeah, I had a pike, about three or four pound follow in, and uh, the mips are certainly doing it today. That's brilliant. Right, well, I'll let you uh, get him back. How, sorry, how big was he? He was 110. 110. 110, beautiful fish. I'll let you get him back, and um, yeah, that'll be fantastic. Well done, mate. Getting back. He's gone. Yeah. Hi, I'm me and Chris. We've just stopped. Uh, actually a beautiful part of the canal here, we just had a bite to eat, I'm just going to run you through my kit quickly that I've been using to catch the perch earlier on. We missed a pike, but um, unfortunately that come off at the net, but oh well, not to worry. Anyway, this is what I've been catching the perch on today. The rod is a light tech spin, a sonic rod. It's uh, just a, uh, it's a one to eight gram rod, seven foot. It's a lovely little rod. Also got the, it's got all the Got all the tackle top bling on it, isn't it? The brass, it's also got the ratchet that holds the reel down, which is really nice. I've got the Fox Ultron reel as well, uh, 1500, and on it is loaded um, the Power Pro braid at um, 20 pounds, I think. I think it's 20 pounds. Uh, also, as well, my MEP spinner. This is what's been doing the damage today. MEP spinner, this is a, a number two. Uh, on the MEP spinner, holding it on. So just in case the pike don't bite through or anything, we're using uh, a wire trace and the wire tra trace is a Lynx uh, 20 pounds. I love it, it's uh, like it's a very, very thin diameter. It's, it's quite uh, quite supple as well for a wire trace, which I'm really happy with. But we're gonna have a look at Chris's uh, kit afterwards as well. And uh, yeah, we'll uh, hopefully we might even get some more fish as well. Thanks. Uh, not sure on the weight, not too heavy, but beautiful colors on it. So I just wanted to show this one off. Just caught just under the bridge, again, on the copper map again. Definitely doing the deal today. Uh, right, I'll uh, get this little one back. Cheers, Chris. And here's my second perch of the day. I'm uh, glad to finally be catching up with Paul. He's had a pretty good day so far. This is um, a small one, perhaps about four or five ounces, lovely colours and uh, a change of MEPS has resulted in this fish. Drop shot, not doing a thing today. Cheers. It's been a successful day for these two lure nuts, uh, Chris and I. You know, how have you think the day's gone, Chris? You know, it's been quite good. The weather didn't improve as much as I'd hoped. We've had a successful day. We've perched up to one pound ten, which is always pleasing. Um, bit surprised nothing happened with the drop shot, but the mets saved us. Brilliant. So, uh, you know, have you got anything to say to the lure nuts at all? You know, do you reckon we should get try and get everyone back down here soon again? Yeah, I think. Uh, Coming on the Kent Maven Canal has been quite good fun, especially during the close, and uh, look forward to the next turn up flash. Yeah, definitely. That, well, that's uh, that's uh, near on in the future. Um, I'm sure Jay's got more details if anyone wants to speak to him about that. So uh, yeah, anyway, um, what I'm going to do now is uh, we've got some takes and some videos of the other guys from the Lua Nuts, um, of obviously what they've been doing and catching in the last couple of weeks, because, well, obviously everyone's UK wide, so we'll... Uh, 
we'll see what they have to do and see what they've been catching recently. Well, thank you very much for today, Chris. I really appreciate it. Yep, and thanks, Paul. And it's nice to bump into Mock as well. It definitely was. It definitely was. Shame we couldn't talk to him, but yeah, I think he was only here for a bit of time. He was whizzing about on his bike, but it's nice to see here that he had a couple of perch as well. Okay, well, cheers, Chris. Yep, cheers, Paul. And thank you very much, Lewinuts, for watching once again. Okay, bye.